Hello Aquarius, it's my lady from my Lady's Way Tarot. I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So some sacrifices will be made this week. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. I think I said that. So, check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on with the Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius love reading. Aquarius love reading. 9, 18 through 25th. 9, 18 through 25th. So, some of you guys are starting off a beautiful relationship or are just thinking about it. It's in your head, it's on your mind. Somebody that you really care about or something. It seems like you might be having to make a decision about this thing. Situation that you love. Ooh. Okay, it seems like you might have to sacrifice something that you love. And you feel like it's a good idea. Let's see what is the sacrifice for the Aquarius. What is the sacrifice for the Aquarius? 9, 18 through 25, 2017. Mm. Okay. I sort of don't want to go here. Um, but seems like somebody may be um, being forced to terminate a pregnancy. Or they're thinking about it. Mm. Okay. Okay. If they if it's um it's the wrong person. It might be their ex, and I feel like you're in a relationship with somebody, and you messed around and messed with your ex, or you just got in a new relationship. This sounds like the Virgo reading. A little bit, but you might have got pregnant by your ex. Let me try to read it some other way. Okay, somebody started a new beginning. They're making a wise decision to sacrifice something that they have with their ex. A gift that their ex gave them. Okay. All right. All right, so it's basically like whatever the situation is, um, you need to keep going. What is this keep going about? Because keep going can mean a lot. Mm. It's basically saying if you keep going, you're going to have burdens. Either way you go, it's going to be burden. If you do it, it's going to be burden. If you don't do it, it's going to be burden. Mm -mm. All right. Ugh. Okay, so... The current relationship I feel like you in, the person is using you. But it seems like you care about them. But it seemed like you didn't went and messed around with the ex and now we got this whole situation going on. Wow. I feel like some of you guys are trying to sacrifice this relationship and go back to your ex. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, what is this burden? What is this burden for the Aquarius? That was the... um. All right, something that's not been going on for too long, and somebody is not opening their heart. So... So it seems like this new person that you may be dating, they ain't going to open your heart. They are hard to you, and they ain't using, I mean, they using you, and that's why you went back to your ex to do what you do. So, it just could possibly mean you buy, you care, you care about your ex, but it seems like you may be having to sacrifice something that you really want. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, you, you're about to get rid of something. I feel like maybe you're not going, you might not get rid of the baby. I feel like you're going to get rid of the new person. So the baby feeling it could be just a new 
relationship. So hopefully it's that. All right. So it seems like you're not looking at the consequences of what you what you're getting ready to do. You know, because the past, it seems like this. It's like you already know what's going on here. You know what's going to happen when you get back there. But this. This you just like they using you. But I'm starting to feel like you that with just seeing this, you seeing what you want to see so you can get back to your ex. That's what I'm seeing here. But let's do the Cleo cards. Run out the books. Make sure you get your full message. All right, Aquarius. Sorry. All right, what's going on for the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius love reading 918 through 925, 2017. Aquarius 918 through 9. Mm -mm. 25, 2017. Wow. Yeah, the X's is coming back trying to. Nine twenty-five, nine eighteen through nine twenty-five, two thousand and seventeen. Aquarius love reading. All right. Mm. Well, we know that's going down, but this here makes me feel like you're not the only one who got somebody. I don't know if they told you or not, but your ex. Has somebody too. And I feel like this person. This person here got somebody too. I feel like all y'all have somebody else. Mm. Alright, one more. Alright, read these straight out the book. Hmm. All right, so first we have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. And it is upright. It says, a problem has been solved, and it is now time to celebrate. Enjoy the moment. Favorable outcome is predicted. Yeah, this and this, it seems like whatever decision you make is going to be hard, but you're going to end up happy, but it, I feel like you're still going to have a little hole. From what you left. You're going to be happy, but it's going to be a hole there. Okay? So, then we got the eight of coins. Coins, coins, coins. Eight, eight. Coin, eight. All right. A time of economic balance and enjoyment of luxury and comfort. A bright economic outlook. So, it seems like you may be picking the person with, with the most money. <laughs> Okay, or it could be a, a Capricorn that you're choosing or just some kind of, never mind. General reading, it can be all over the place. So now we got the Knight of Swords. And it's reversed. It says, lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So it's like, um, I feel like that's why you're leaving this this situation this um this person is using you because they don't make you feel like you're secure you know they're not doing a the job they're not being the person you need them to be that's why you dipping off and going to the ex but i don't know just judging by these two cards i feel like the ex is gonna lead a person to come back to you as well but let's do this page of cups Page, page, page. It's up, right? A person who will help you in some way is, I mean, and be a good friend. However, you may find yourself having to help as well. That's both of y'all leaving each other to be together. It's going to be good, but it's not going to be that good. I told you it's going to be hoes in there. It's going to be that little bit of doubt of the past events and the situation of you guys leaving other people to be with each other. That's a tough pill to fall. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, it says a time of absolute joy, peace, and happiness. You look at life as a great gift full of future fortune. 
Um, so many good things approach. Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So, yeah, get ready to be successful. Even though you got craziness going on, you might have a little hole in your heart, but it seems like it's going to end up pretty good. Oh, okay. And then we have the Eight of Cups. It says, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making the change. That's you leaving this user to go back there. It's like whatever you do, you'll be fine. Just like you found this user, um, you can find somebody else if it don't happen with your ex. If it don't work out right, you can just find somebody else. Just you want to go new next time, okay? But that's all I have for you. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week, guys.